Hey guys, welcome to a new week of The Rundown. On this episode, big news regarding GMTs, April SAPA month, and the E4 through E6 advancement cycle has been announced. The Navy announced last week that sailors are no longer required to log into NKO, eLearning, or My Navy Portal to complete general military trainings. This effort is aimed at improving leader engagement opportunities, reducing administrative distractions, and addressing sailors' frustration with the current online training products. This is also empowering command officers and sailors. Sailors are creative and know what works best for their unit. The training we have online is impersonal and isn't tailored to the unit level. Letting COs tailor when and how they train their sailors will help improve learning engagement and unit cohesion. The Cyber Awareness Challenge, V4, remains a GMT requirement and must be completed by all sailors online. All other GMTs will be administered at the discretion of the commanding officer. Delivering GMTs in small groups can allow for more meaningful discussions among sailors. You can read more details in NavAdmin 072-17 on NPC. April is Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month, and this year's theme is Protecting Our People Protects Our Mission. For the details on how you can work to prevent sexual assault and how you can get your command involved, check out our story on Navy.mil that's highlighted in the Weekly Wire. The active duty, FTS, and canvasser recruiter E4 through E6 exam cycle has been announced. Remember these dates. The E6 exam will be September 7th, E5 will be September 14th, and E4 September 21st. Bibs for the September exam will be posted on April 3rd. For more information, read the story on Navy.mil and read NavAdmin 070-17. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct and navy.mil. For the Chief Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.